What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here, bringing another Black Desert online video, and today we're taking a look at the patch notes for April 20th. Uh, a few new events and things going on, a couple of tweaks. Uh, we got Robum skills up for Draconia, so let's get in there and take a look at what we've got going on. First up, we have uh, for item updates under improving new adventurer experience here. It's just uh, they've changed the description of a lot of common items so that early players don't end up throwing out something that might be extremely useful. Kaffir stone, spirit dust, that sort of thing uh, for it. They've also decreased the weight of gold bar, seals, and black stones, and other uh, stackable items. Listed them out there to make it a little easier on you uh, when you're first starting out. They've got a full list breaking the whole thing down if you're super interested uh, in all of it, and if not, uh, you can move on. Uh, increased contribution XP rewards for 220 different quests, so you can maybe pick up a little extra contribution there, uh, as well as another 124 quests in Serendia. So between those and Balanos, uh, you got a little more contribution going on. So there you go. Uh, as far as events, we have a 300% hot time that's going on for your XP. We've also got a 50% drop rate again. Uh, that's going. I uh, commented in Discord earlier, when you always have drop rate bonuses, you never have drop rate bonuses. So, yeah, I don't know that the market's ever recovering from this round. Uh, we've also got Valk's Endless Advice by staying logged into the game. Uh, up to 120 minutes, you're getting different Daybreak Stones along with Secret Scroll of Devotion. We've actually seen this before. Uh, you then can combine these into... Um, depend with black stones to make uh, different amounts of Valks, depending on what you want to go for there, the number that you have along with which level scroll of devotion. So you can get a 40 stack um, at the highest throughout that event. Uh, then we have a promote your guild event. Um, you promote your guild, you get rewards. Pretty straightforward on that. Um, this one's pretty cool. Hunter seals, moles, and uh, hards. You've got increase to gathering and farming, getting some hards and sharps as well. And the moles for farming are going to spawn more often. And depending on the level of mole, they will also drop uh, some hard shards along with that. Speaking of hard shards as well, uh, Marnie's misplaced research samples is a very good event uh, for exactly that thing. Uh, matter of fact, the uh, shards aren't the only thing getting hard around here over this one. So these things are going to drop from gathering or fishing or killing monsters as is usual. You then have a one-time quest you can turn in to get you a uh, box once per family on this one. That's going to give you 30 mem frags, 10 sharps, and 10 hards. Uh, and then you also have a weekly event that you can turn in that's going to give... Oh, excuse me, weekly event. Weekly quest that you can turn in for uh, 10 uh, uh, hards as well. Uh, and then you just have a straight up exchange on these. So you can do that. So you're going to get a little bundle twice, right? And then you can do this one weekly for it. So you'll be able to hit that one again. And then any extras you get exchange out for a memory fragment and a uh, hard black crystal shard. The thing I'll say about this, though, uh, I haven't seen a ton as far as grinding. However, AFK fishing is insanely good for this. Um, I think overnight last night was about eight hours or so that I was fishing. And I got 43 in that amount of time so depending on how you value memory fragments and sh and uh and uh, hard black crystal shard that's actually like a lot of extra income for not being at your computer so yeah i was pretty surprised by that the fishing just seems to be like kind of nutty with uh how many you're getting off that so highly recommend throwing the afk fishing if you can afford to um let the uh computer heat up your room for a little while there go further beyond daily login rewards have been reset we kind of know the deal on that and then as i mentioned flourishing drop rate hot time you've got a 50 percent drop rate bonus running throughout all the time Moving into the content updates in characters, tweaked a few things for as far as what levels you learn them, just to give you a little better leveling for it. There's just issue fixes and a couple of little graphic tweaks with classes for everything except Draconia, who got their uh, level 56, 57, and uh, 58 skill enhancements, or some may still call them the Robum skills, although they don't say that very much here. Um, some interesting options for these things. She's got another heal in here that also has a movement speed and crit buff, crit rate buff uh, for your allies that are around you too, which is pretty interesting. Interesting. Um, some CCs are picked up in there, and of course, some protection. The animations are uh, in line with everything else, incredibly slow. So, yeah, there's that. Then, a couple of tweaks to already um, existing Draconia things the Shattered Dragon's Malice, which is the item you can um, you can create, heat up, heating up dragon fossils, which literally turns into um, your church buffs for Draconia only. They are now no longer going to have an expiration on them, so you can stack up several and just pop them whenever. Um, if you're still torturing yourself by grinding on Draconium. And then uh, we also have the Black Spirit Blazing Strike skill, so the uh, the actual BSR one. Increased movement speed on the huge lightning strikes. Attack uh, attack 2 hits were reduced from 10 to 3, and attack 3 were increased from max 16 to a max 30 hits. Um, change attack 3 so that a smaller lightning will strike at enemies nearby after the huge lightning strikes. So there you go. 
Uh, other content updates added mu instrument selection UI to the music album because that's important. There's pop-ups for the compose and score window. and Yeah, yeah okay. Um, adjusted the numbers of the max HP effect, the buff given to a losing team in RBF. AP accuracy and damage reduction given to the characters participating in red battlefield. So the after change is now a losing team is uh, going to pick up a max HP plus 500, AP plus 30, and damage reduction plus 20. A uh, little bit of an increase on the HP there from before. Um, max HP just flat out in RBF is going to be plus 1,000. And then we have some new minimums. If you don't have gear and you're running into RBF, you'll end up with a minimum of 200 AP, 580 accuracy, and 180 uh, damage reduction if you don't have those stats. Um, if you don't have those stats, you're probably just going to die instantly. Anyways, and let's be honest, if you have even stats even much higher than this, you're probably just going to die instantly. Anyways, so... That is that. Uh, the likes per chat group were, are uh, scheduled to be reset April 20. This, whatever, that's a thing. Um, something that is relevant. The Manos processing stones were uh, changed to be combined into just a few different ones instead of 100 for different types. So you can have potentially one um, that does a lot of things. So for instance, the processing stones combined shaking, grinding, chopping, drying, filtering, heating can be processed all with one stone. You don't have to swap out those stones when you're mass processing, which is really, really nice. Uh, quality of life improvement there um, to pick those up if you had processing stones already in your inventory they should be in your mail just open that up and you can check it out uh, so that you get uh, get some of the new stones and if not you can go over to the npc they don't sell the old ones anymore but they do have the the new ones if you go to logia um, you can pick those up now some conquest updates uh, as far as limits that were adjusted and uh, kind of around some limits added and some limits removed for it um, interesting setup here so there's two dev notes on what we've got going on let me go ahead and read those for you we've received a lot of feedback from our adventures including from calfion episode two uh and the possibility of enjoying conquest wars in another region different from the previous one so we made the decision to rotate the stat restriction applied in conquest wars of each territory we're planning to appropriately change or maintain the rotation of stat restrictions for conquest wars after seeing how it's used by adventurers so they kind of moved where the limits uh were set before so you can see valencia having that limitation set up that was moved to calfion and valencia now having afterwards no limits on it and like they said this is the idea is here to be in a rotation so that it'll be different ones at different times that have those limits or don't have those limits adjustments were made to the command posts and field headquarters built to participate in conquest wars guilds participating in conquest wars can install either command posts or field headquarters depending on which is more strategically advantageous for their members. Guilds that install command posts can have their members char uh, charge in headfirst at their enemies, while guilds that install field HQs can aim to make cannon observatories to rain down artillery. Also, the cooldown reduction for reviving at recovery centers applied in Conquest Wars has been increased. This makes it possible to revive faster from both command posts and field HQs than before. Uh, then we have some UI updates and system changes and whatnot, so let's jump on over to the Pearl Shop and check things out. First up, we've got the new Corsair outfit. I like it. I don't like that we didn't get a little video. I kind of like that they were doing that with the new outfits. I think they should bring that back, especially because a lot of these have like idle animations that we can't necessarily see, and you'd have to be in-game and check it out the store. I don't think there's any reason to not put a little... Uh, little video in there like you did i think the last one was the zerker outfit bring that back please and put it for each new outfit thank you uh 3400 pearls for the premium version as is usual on the new sets we've got new draconia functional costumes that are out the canape pavilla costumes uh venisil and the riding attire splat fishers Dedum diving set the standard on those you can now pick those up uh for your draconia we've got a daily cronstone pack for 100 pearls it's 50 cronstone don't know how to fill up that one triple premium outfit packs around again 68 30 pearls gets you three of those premium outfits 200 crons 20% discount coupon and then an apparel 20% coupon on top of it. Then we've got the Reboot Premium Outfit Pack. For $23.80, you can pick up one Reboot Premium Outfit along with five item scrolls to go along with that. That's once per family uh, on that one. Then we've got Enhanced Artisan Memories. It's 34 30 pearls. Gets you 120 artisans, then a level 3 enhancement help kit, and four 50 stacks uh, if you're having troubles building those on your own. Choose your two buffs pack is 2,000 pearls. You're going to get 20 item drop scrolls, three supreme old moon scrolls, and then you choose either a 15-day blessing of common silver, or a 15-day book of old moon. I do think it's interesting how instead of setting this where it's like, here's a blessing of common silver for whatever, plus these item drop scrolls and other stuff. So you buy this and you get these as a bonus. It's just like, just pick these and we know you're actually getting it for the item drop scrolls in the first place. So here you go. Uh, golden bells and dragon spells 1242 pearls will get you three golden bells five item drop scrolls three 300 percent xp scrolls and one dragon's blessing which is a 30 percent item drop rate uh, item my very own fairy pack is 1875 pearls it's got 10 thea zorb five layla pillows and five sweet honey for it the hate hey, tier three packs available it's 1400 pearls to pick up a tier three level of that you'll also get a courser's aura and an unbridled celerity draft we've got the perfect mount pack for 3675 pearls it's got a mount skill selection coupon as well as an all skill training then a 10 hour mount xp scroll and then you choose for 10 
10 of whichever dream horse material you want that is the two percent bonus ones then some sale on some different things family inventory and weight categories premium classic camouflage sets are 20 percent off and the weekly outfit on sale this week is the sage exclatus for 2720 pearls so maybe pick that one up if you're trying to get some crons for your silver so there you have it for this week's patch notes and pearl shop let me know what you guys think about the stuff going on in the comments down below if you did enjoy the video be sure to like it if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe so you get notifications when new videos do go live and if you'd like to catch me playing live there is a link to my twitch page in the description down below jump on over there drop a follow so you get notifications for that as well with that said that's going to be it for this one I want to thank everybody for watching and i will see you next time Hi.